Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss a new chapter and the name of the chapter is linear equations in two variables. So first of all let us know what is linear equations in two variables. So as you can see on the screen the definition is given any equation which can be put in the form ax plus by plus c equals to 0 where a, b and c are real numbers and a and b are not both 0 is called a linear equation in two variables. Now let us understand what this definition actually means. First of all it is said about the form of the equation. Yes, form of the equation is very important. So the form is given here ax plus by plus c is equals to 0. So this should be the form of the equation. Next thing given is that a, b and c are real numbers. So a, b and c, whatever the values of a, b and c are, they should be real numbers. Another condition is given that a and b are not both 0. At the same time, we cannot have in that equation the value of a and value of b. At the same time, they cannot be both 0. One of them might be 0, but both of them cannot be 0. Because if both of them are 0, then we will be only remaining with the constant term. So a constant term will not make an equation in two variables. So that's why both the values of a and b cannot be at the same time be 0. Clear? Now let us see some examples. It will be more clear to you. The first example is given here. p plus 4q equals to 7. Now is it in the form ax plus by plus c equals to 0? No. So I have to bring it in that form. So here what we have done is that nothing much. We have just transposed this 7 onto the left hand side. After transposing the sign will change definitely. And now if you compare this with this form, then we will get a equals to 1. Since nothing is there, so it is 1. Then b equals to 4, as you can see. And c will be equal to minus 7. Clear? Similarly, in the next example, you can see pi u plus 5v equals to 9. It is also not in the form ax plus by plus c equals to 0. We have to bring it. We have transposed this 9 onto the left hand side. Then after comparing this equation with this general form, we will get a equals to pi, b equals to 5, c equals to minus 9. Now here, again if you see, the same thing is happening here also. And again after comparing it with this general form, we will get the value of a, b and c. But here, as you can see, here totally the change, the thing is totally uh, the opposite. Generally we see the x term or the y term on the left hand side and the constant term on the right hand side, what we have seen in these three uh, examples. But here, if we see carefully, it is the opposite. So nothing much to worry about, we will bring this whole thing, the whole expression onto the left hand side by transposing them and then after changing the signs. So here the signs have changed. Now we need to reshuffle them in this form ax plus vy plus c. So where is the x term? Yes, it will come first, then the y term and then the constant. Then again comparing this equation with this general form, we can get a equals to minus root 2, b equals to 7 and c equals to 3. So I hope you all have understood this introduction part of linear equations in two variables. Now we will see one by one the examples and how to solve the linear equations in two variables problems. Okay, now let us see the next example, example 1. So here in this example it is given, write each of the following equations in the form ax plus by plus c equals to 0 and indicate the values of a, b and c in each case. So this is just what we have done a while ago. So here the equation is given to you, you have to make it in the form ax plus by plus c equals to 0. So is it in the form? ax plus by plus c equals to 0? No, it is not in that form. So what we need to do is that we need, have, need to bring it to that form. So here in this equation we can just simply transpose this term to the left hand side. So we can write it in this form. Now it is in the form ax plus by plus c equals to 0. Where a equals to 2, b equals to 3 and c equals to minus 4.37. 
Similarly, in this case also, the y term is on the right hand side. We have to bring it on the onto the left hand side so that we can write it in the form a x plus b y plus c equals to zero. So here also, same thing has been done. Okay, one more, one thing has been missing in here that is this zero term. You can say this zero term is missing here. So we can write it as in this way. Now we need to reshuffle it. Now if we reshuffle it a bit, we will get in the ax plus by plus c form. That is x minus root 3y minus 4 is equal to 0. Clear? Where a will be 1, b will be minus root 3 and c will be minus 4. Similarly, in equation, what is called in equation 3, here the constant term is on the right hand side. Normally we don't see such kind of thing. But even if it is there, no problem, we can take this whole thing onto the left hand side. And if we take it onto the left hand side, what thing will come is that we can write it in this way. Then we will again reshuffle it. After reshuffling, we will get it in this form ax plus by plus c. And then, same similar fashion, we can find out a, b, and c. The last equation that is exam in number 4 of example 1, here something is missing. Okay, we will find that out what is missing. First, let us bring this y term also onto the left hand side. Then we will get 2x minus y equals to g. Now, next one thing we need to do is that this 2x minus y, where, is, where is the c term? The c term is not there, the constant term is not there. So, since it is not there, but we have to write it in this form, so we need a c term. So, here the c term will be, or the constant term will be 0. Because if we add or subtract anything from 0, it doesn't affect the equation. So, we have written 0 here. And only then we can write the value of c also, where a equals to 2, b equals to minus 1, and c will be equals to 2. So, I hope you all have understood this example 1, how to write it in the form ax plus by plus c, as well as find out the values of a, b and c. Now let us see the next example, that is example 2. The question here given is, write each of the following as an equation in two variables. So that means we have to write it in the form ax plus by plus equals to g. That is our main motive in this question. So the equation is given to us x is equal to 5, minus 5. So now if we write it in the form of a linear equation in two variables, how can we do that? So first of all, what we need to do, we need to bring all the terms, say it is a constant term or whatever term, onto the left hand side. We need to transpose it onto the left hand side. Now if we transpose it onto the left hand side, what can we see here is that it will become plus. So this is also plus and this is also plus. Clear? So now if we transpose it on, onto the left hand side, it will be plus. So this is also plus. Now here what we have done is that there is no y term. If you see carefully, there is no y term. So since there is no y term, we have to still write this y term because it has to be in the ax plus by plus c form. So since there is no y term, we have brought a 0 into y. So 0 into y will give us what is called the y term, the form of the y term, because 0 into something is 0, so even if you write it, it will not affect the original equation, okay. Similarly here also, we have done the same thing, we have brought these two onto the left hand side, by transposing the sign will change, and then we have written here, here y term is there, x term is not there, so we have written 0 into x. Whichever term is not there, we can just multiply with 0. So then only it will become a into x plus b into y plus c equals to 0, where a is 0 here, b is 1 here, and c is minus 2. Similarly, here also y term is missing, so we have written 0, y. And in this, equa in this equation here, x term is missing, so we have written 0, x. So I hope you all have understood this 
example very well how to bring it in the form ax plus by plus c equals to 0. So in both the examples what we have seen is that we have to bring it in, in the form of the linear equations in two variables. Only then we can find out whatever we want. Say it is a the value of a, b or c. Clear. So that's it then for today in this video. Thank you and have a nice day.